Welcome to part two of the vintage mystery box of scarves where I'm going to try them on uh, with different style necklines and show you how I would tie them. And we're just gonna dive right in. Some of these scarves are definitely more beautiful or valuable than others, but I do think that they are all very interesting. Let's just start with a basic, let's start with this pink, purple, yellow, and red. Beautiful, rather large. I really think this would be pretty in hair. I'm kind of a fan of the babushka, but I'm going to just use it as a regular hair tie. And why I would mess with my hair at the beginning of the video, I do not know. But I feel like maybe I should put it on over my hair a little bit. I don't usually wear headbands like that. But we're here to try things that are new. Hmm, that's kind of cute. I do like this one. Um, I've actually never worn a headscarf like this, but I do think this is cute. And I think it's a good use of this color and this beautiful silk scarf. It feels like it also won't slip around too much either, but if you have one of those heads that's shaped like a giant thumb like mine, you could always put a couple of bobby pins in there and it won't budge. I bet you if I wore this outside, this would be the talk of the town. It would only be the talk of the town if my neighbors were outside, but they are outside and they would talk about it. Next, so what do you do with a beautiful silk navy blue plain scarf? This is the one I was telling you about that has the little gold tag and the original um, tag. Do I have any other words? I don't know. Um, this is the kind of scarf where you have to just enjoy the glorious, luxurious color and fabric. So I'm just gonna put this on with my tank top like this, a big triangle. I'm gonna let it be a little bit looser. Ooh, it looks good at these earrings too. And so yes, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the luxury here. And it really is, it's a just a beautiful, beautiful piece of fabric. Let's put a jacket on. And I'm choosing my jean jacket on purpose because it's casual. And we're just gonna let the luxurious fabric and the gold earrings shine on their own. You don't need expensive clothes to show off this stuff. In fact, I think it's even better when they're very casual clothes and you just wear these really gorgeous items like this. This is a beautiful, beautiful scarf. Doesn't always need to have a pattern to be beautiful. Well, since I have my jean jacket on, is there one here that looks good with a jean jacket? Let's pull out the super sheer red scarf. What does the tag say? It's rayon. It's made in Japan. I like the texture of this scarf. Not everything needs to be silk. Yeah, I said that. Not every scarf needs to be silk because each kind of fabric gives you a different texture. And in this case, this gives me a nice crunchy texture that doesn't really lay down. It, it has a lot of volume. I like that. Sometimes you want volume. In fact, I'm gonna pop my collar and pop it. And I think that's nice. If this were a silk scarf, it probably wouldn't puff up like this. So sometimes you need a different fabric. This is definitely, oh, I'm kind of trapped. This is the kind of fabric where if I had tied it in my hair, it would have slipped right out. And that's the thing I like about the silk scarves is they often stay in my hair a little bit better. A little bit of grip, a little bit of stretch. Okay, now I'm going to change my shirt because I have a beautiful, soft, silk, gorgeous, pink scarf. Let's see what color shirt that would look nice with. So this blouse is kind of interesting. It's kind of a flesh color, a little bit pinky. And I thought, why not try to pair the pink silk square with this? Are they too similar? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm going to fold it in the triangle first, and then I'm going to roll this section down to make a long rectangle like this. Okay. So let's see. 
Yeah, these colors, they don't really go together. But they don't not go together. In fact, I think if I put on even more pink right now, it would actually really would go together. Should I do it? Should I find something pink? Oh, look, it's my pink trench coat. So now I have my fleshy shirt, my super pink scarf, and my pink trench coat. And they're all different pinks. And I don't feel that it's wrong. This one is a keeper for several reasons, even though it's not exactly my color pink. Let's try it a little more drapey. That's pretty too. This is a pretty scarf. Silk scarves, man, my favorite thing in the world. Okay, what's next? We're not gonna do pink. We're gonna do red, white, and blue. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me change my shirt. Let's try this little denim V-neck. I think that a lot of things can go with this, but we were talking about this in particular. And um, this is exciting. <laughs> I don't, I've never heard of Echo brand, but it does say 100% pure silk and made in Japan, of course. This is a very long scarf. This is long. Okay, so we could just do it once around and leave it draped over the back like a cape. Very dramatic, I like it. Um, we could bunch it up more, like double it up this way and tie that around. That's kind of fun. <laughs> we could even leave it like that, like a bow tie in the back, but I won't. I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, not like that. Not like that. This is really disobeying me today. I could also do it like that on the side a little bit, or I could hide that knot in the back and leave it doubled up. That's pretty. That's probably what I would do. I love the colors. I love the fabric. This is one of those things that's really long and you could just leave it down as well. I'm not usually this kind of lady, but you could tie a low knot like this. I have to kind of, you could just leave it there. I don't know, sometimes, sometimes I'm that kind of lady. Most of the time I don't know what kind of lady I am, but it doesn't matter. Be any kind of lady you want to be. This is a beautiful one. Many different ways you could wear this. You want to see it in the hair? I do. Let's do another one. Hmm. Gold. This is the gold one. It's very uh, much stuck in its pattern of being folded for 40 years. So let's give it a little break. Okay, let's give it a break on how wrinkled it is. Let me go find a different shirt. Hey now, it's my trusty travel shirt. I talk about it all the time, so I'm not going to talk about it again, even though I do want to. Not this video, not this video. Okay, we're gonna fold this, this gold square like a triangle, and then I'm going to fold it this way until I've got my long rectangle again. Because I think I want this to be a nice, neat thing around my neck. You know what? Very pleasant surprise. When I fold this up, it doesn't become, it's not a gold scarf anymore. It's kind of a teal with gold accents. Didn't realize that. Okay, let's do it. I like it because it matches this shirt a bit. I'm just gonna tie it really neat back here. I don't really wanna see those, those extra ends. And I like this because it's a very complimentary color to me. And sometimes you like a scarf for that reason, because it really is the thing that's closest to your face. You want it to be a color that looks really good on you. And brown's my color. I don't like the way that sounds. I wish it were red or Kelly green, but it's brown. And when I wear brown, my eye color, my skin, everything comes alive. So I'm just gonna go with it. And this is actually wonderful. This allows my gold jewelry to shine. So I really do 
like my little gold brown teal scarf here. It's not silk, but it is perfect. What happens if I put it more on the gold side? Let's see. The gold side is pretty too. I guess it just matters how I feel that day. You want to see the back and the front or the front and the back, whatever. I don't know which is which. It's pretty. It's pretty no matter what you do with it. This box of scarves has been wonderful. Hmm, should we do something boring? Let's do the black silk scarf. Plain black. What does this do for anybody? Well, did I ever tell you about the glory of the boring scarf? Sometimes you need a boring scarf because sometimes the thing you're wearing is really crazy and you need something to be boring because you can't have everything being crazy. I mean, you can, it's fun, but sometimes you need to tone it down. And sometimes it's nice just to have a plain color that works on you. And you just want to add a little bit of style. A plain scarf is where it's at. This is very nice. Now this is something, the boring scarf, um, it's something that I think everyone should have because when you have a really beautiful scarf, the kind that makes your soul sing, you don't want to wear it in your hair when you're traveling and the wind is whipping around. You might even lose the scarf. Maybe um, you're putting your oil on your face at night and you do not want to get it on your scarf that you love so much. It's time to take out the boring scarf. So in this case, this is one of these things where I would wear this to tie up my hair. And I'll show you very quickly how I do tie up my hair. I wish I would quit messing with my hair before the video is done, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna put the long part of the triangle near the nape of my neck. You might not be able to see all of this. bring all my hair through and I'm going to give it one tie right here. One tie. Then I'm going to take all this hair and I'm going to put it back here in the rest of the triangle. <laughs> it doesn't want to do anything. It doesn't want to go. Okay. So now I've got the top of the triangle here. I'm gonna grab one of the pieces here and one of the pieces here, and I'm gonna just tie them in a knot in the front. And now I have all these, hey, this is kind of cute. <laughs> now I have these together and I'm just gonna twist it and I'm gonna tuck it in here under my ear. And this here is my, um, get my hair out of my face, hair scarf look. You know, it's not like a, I wouldn't wear this out on the town, but sometimes you need to protect your hair from whipping around in your face, or sometimes you need to protect your hair from whatever you're putting on your face or from anything getting wet up here. And this is the perfect thing to do. That's all. Well, I hope I didn't destroy my hair for the rest of this video. This shirt really is enough. It's enough on its own, but we have several purpley scarves in here that I cannot wait to pair with this shirt. And one of them is this, gorgeous silk scarf with paisley and it's purple blue and green and i just love it and i'm just going to first tie it like that just like a big triangle around and tie it in front that alone is super pretty i love this look so much i almost don't want to finish this video i just want to keep this on and go about my day hmm let's tie it one more way so this is a large square Let's show mostly the white part by making a big triangle and then rolling this up to make the large or the long rectangle. And that means that that cream part with little paisley bits are going to be showing mostly, mostly a cream scarf. So this is pretty versatile because that's really two different looks that you get out of this. And then when I turn around, I have that beautiful, a uh, waterfall of color behind me. I like that a lot. And this is silk. It's a wonderful fabric. Let's bring it around to the side. That's nice too. 
I really would love to keep this on all day, but we have other scarves to see. And <laughs> would this be fun? This is not silk, but it's a fun fabric, huh? Let's see, it has some polka dots. It does have blue in it, so I think it's going to be complimentary. It's not very long. There aren't that many options. I don't like the way this sits. If it were silk, it would sit nicer. I can guarantee you that. I can't seem to show off what's cool about this scarf. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But you know, it's also not my favorite. It leaves a little bit of red in the back. That's pretty. I do like the polka dots. And I do like this little bit of flower showing here. We're gonna take the long tips here, tie them more tightly behind. Let's go, let's go. And that's not bad either. If you really wanna show off the fabric, that's probably the way to go. Put a jacket over this, cute. I would really like to do one more scarf with this blue blouse because look how perfect. We have to do the blue and pink and yellow butterfly with this blouse. We have to do it. And this is a little one. So when I fold it like this triangle and then I make it into the larger rectangle by folding the small point in first, we're going to end up with almost like a choker necklace type butterfly scarf. I want, I want the blue butterfly to be showing. I'm going to lightly tie that behind. Ooh, this is a delicate scarf. It weighs nothing. Adorable. Love the colors. What happens if we show the knot a little bit? If the knot is sticking up like this and it's annoying, you just tuck it in. You tuck it under so that it goes down. Hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous! You hardly have to do anything. This is a wonderful scarf. One of my new favorites. Is there anything else you can do with a tiny little scarf like this? Yes. Maybe not too much, but let me show you some other things you can do. Okay, so you don't have to fold it like a tube like this. You can leave it like a triangle. And that way when you tie it, you get to see a little bit more of it, which is nice. And you can wear it off to the side like that, or you can wear it more toward the middle. Let's bring up the pattern more. Like that. That's pretty. Is there anything else you can do? Well, maybe not around your neck. Unless you want to just do that. Hello, I have a Boy Scout tie on, which I don't like. I'm not a fan of. Um, but what you could do if you wanted to enjoy your scarf, but not wear it around your neck is you could tie it around your wrist. If you have that kind of dexterity, I almost don't. And that becomes um, just a really pretty accent. I'm afraid that I can't show you properly, but it is. And if you don't want that much fabric flapping around, you could tie it. Well, see how I tied it in a knot right there? Now I'm going to take it around to the other side and I'm going to tie it one more time. Well, I would tie it twice if I were going to wear it around. So now I have a nice little knotted bracelet that has gorgeous colors. And like I said, I, let me just tuck those under. Let me just tuck that in. Okay, there you go. And now I have a nice little knotted bracelet that complements my shirt. And that's a nice way to wear it. Another thing you could do, you could tie it to your purse, just like that. And that's a pretty accent too. I'm sure there's other things I'm not thinking of right now, but those are some ways I would wear that particular scarf. Now what? We have a few more. These two blues I don't like together. I'm going to change my shirt. How about a real neutral like this? This is a real blank slate. This makes me look like everything is khaki. I'm khaki. Um, but let's put some color with this. Here's the blue scarf I was talking about. I do not believe this is silk, is it? No, this is polyester. <laughs> polyester. This is polyester, and this is also by Vera. Um, I'm going to show you this little tag because quite a few of these scarves say by Vera and the tags were left on conscientiously so that future people might know what they have. And I'm a future people. <laughs> um, let's see what this looks like. This chiffon blueberry <laughs> scarf. This isn't my favorite color. This isn't a good color on me. 
<laughs> but this is a fun look. I feel kind of um, flamboyant. What's the word I'm looking for? Whimsical. I feel whimsical. It, you know, it's not bad to have some chiffon scarves like this that really puff up when you tie them. That's a fun color. It's not the color for me, but it was a fun color, huh? It makes me look a little washed out, a little like a, hmm, a little corpse-like, a little bit. But it was fun, a fun corpse look. Okay, how about red? Ooh, hmm. Okay, first we have the plain sheer red without the design, and this is not silk. So we're gonna use the puffiness of this fabric to our advantage and make it puffy. I just very carelessly tied that and look how cute it is. So, you know, sometimes you need these little puffy scarves. You know, I like how it looks with my lipstick. But this isn't the red scarf I want to show you. I really want to talk about my cowboy scarf, letter buck. <laughs> and I want to give you a closer look at the art. I hope that this is coming through. The cowboy art on the side. This scarf has, um, someone took a lot of care to make sure that that little, that little piece of art lined up in the corner. I'm really noticing the detail of work that someone put in here. It looks like it was hand painted. It's quite amazing. It's got a little bit of, um, of um, stains on it, but we're not gonna see that. We are gonna fold this up. And you know, unfortunately, we're not gonna see the letter buck. That's gonna be a little like secret. <laughs> well, maybe we see a little bit of it if we tie it like this. Let's try that first. Let's honor the art of this scarf. I'm just tying it loosely behind. That's pretty fun. Can we see the cowboy art? Yes. Wow, this is a piece of art. This vintage scarf is a piece of art. Let's try it a couple more ways. <laughs> oh, look at that. I just turned it around. It's the Boy Scout look, but you know, not bad. It, it's not bad. Okay, let's try again. Okay, this time I'm gonna roll it up a bit. That means that we're mostly going to see red and I do want to see the art, so I'm going to leave the tie up front. Like that. Around the side. That's nice. And you get to see these little cowboys here. Pretty. Hmm. You know, sometimes you just fall in love with the scarf, and several times today I have fallen in love with the scarf. This was one of those times. Now what? So let's go, let's go with this brown look that we've got going. And let's bring out this brown scarf. This isn't my favorite. It's a little too vintage looking for me. I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to fold it in half first like this. And then I'm just going to tie it around. I should love it because it's brown. I don't love it. This one would be left uh, to go down the back like this. I feel like a, I don't know, it's like a, almost like a giraffe print to me. I feel like I'm going on safari. Hmm. Hmm. It's an all right scarf. Can I make it look cuter? I don't know. Okay, so we fold it in half. Let's fold it in half this way. And when we tie it around, there should be hardly any fabric left. And that way, I do like it. I can tolerate it. Um, there's barely any fabric back there, and it kind of gives my hair a little bit of a lift because I've got some fabric hanging out. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, not my favorite, but not bad at all. A couple more. Okay, let's go for the tie-dye adventure. This is that huge silk scarf with tassels that I'm sure is not vintage, but Boy, is it gorgeous. Here it is, huge tie-dye. I feel like there's something more we could do with this, like make it into a shirt. Hmm. 
First, I would like to just tie it like this, like a scarf. Ooh, so pretty. That's gorgeous. You can't even, you don't even notice what shirt I'm wearing. I could be wearing any shirt under this. It's just this gorgeous scarf. And then if I put a jacket over this, and oof, oof, let me get a jacket. Beautiful. So I have on this little velvet blazer with it. And the combination of these delicious fabrics together is very luxurious. Wonderful, wonderful scarf. I think I'm going to do a separate video on the multiple ways that you can tie a large scarf like this, but now is not that time. Let's get going to the last couple scarves. I would like to show you why fabric matters. Good fabric versus bad fabric. Bad, bad fabric. <laughs> That's quite a strong judgment. But this here is a red sash that was in the, the vintage scarf box, and it's a terrible fabric. It's um, polyester, doesn't feel good, doesn't stretch. Seems to be made up of um, two separate bits, too. Uh, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to show you. And, you know, while the color is okay, it just looks, uh, for lack of a better word, crappy. It looks crappy. Um, there's a shorter version of this. Ugh. Bleh! Um, there's a shorter version of this, and it's also not going to look good because bad fabric doesn't look good. Okay, so um, we're just going to tie this on and and say goodbye. And of course, it probably looks okay in this video, but it, I can promise you that it actually it doesn't look okay in real life because let's compare this to a nicer fabric like this this puffy one here that I showed earlier in this video. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, now look, now look. Much better fabric, much better results. Fabric matters. This isn't even silk, but fabric matters much better. Okay, guess what? We're gonna take a closer look at something that was in that scarf box. And that was this little, um, this tiny little belt that I wasn't quite sure what it was for. I thought maybe it was to close your pant legs a little tighter or um, <laughs> it's not like a dog collar. I mean, I suppose it could be. It could be like a dog collar, but the, oh gosh, that would be awful. Should I just do it? Okay. We're here. Why not? That is really my mantra. Why not? I'll put on the dog collar. Hmm. Terrible. Ugh. Get this off of me. Blah. What we're gonna do is wear this as a bracelet. I'm gonna wrap this around twice because that's all it wraps around. And I'm gonna buckle it. Hey, that's pretty cool. Now, I think I told you in the previous video that I have two of these. So I'm just gonna double it up, why not? I'm just gonna double it up and make a whole bunch of dog collar bracelets, but I'm gonna maybe put them in the opposite direction here. So as to add some sort of interest, I don't know what I'm doing at all. And maybe I'll crisscross it a little bit. There's no right answer here, guys. There might be a wrong answer, <laughs> but there's no right answer. Okay. What do you think? Like a kind of a weirdo cuff. I don't know. You know, not bad. I think with the right outfit, that could be cool. And maybe I will style that with an outfit in one of these videos. I don't know. Time for the last scarf. And it's this one. This beautiful silk 80s scarf that says Norel on it. Um, I love the graphic quality of this scarf and it does indeed have a tag on it verifying that it is silk and it was made exclusively for Norel. And you know, I actually do appreciate, I actually do appreciate that someone took the time to, um, well, didn't take the time, but took the care to keep the tag on it. So, so I knew 
that this was silk. Although I can pretty much tell when I touch most things, sometimes things fool me and sometimes it is silk and I couldn't tell, but most of the time I know. So when I fold this, look, I get a stripey scarf when I fold it this way. So if I wanted some stripes, let's tuck that under. There we go. If I wanted some stripes for my outfit, this is a good choice. But what if I want to show more of the graphic quality of it? Let's show more of this by just leaving it, leaving it showing. Hmm. Do I want that Norel to show? You know, I'm going to tie this in a way where that Norel shows. I don't know why it's never, I've never heard of that as a brand. I don't know why I would want to show that off, but I kind of like that it has a little bit of red in it. Norel. Okay. So this is me with more of a graphic quality, black and white scarf and it, the stripes go in a different direction now when I tied it like this. So that was a pleasant surprise. And I'm going to leave that little, that little bit up front because why not? Can you believe I received a box of scarves? I cannot believe that. I cannot believe my luck. I feel like the luckiest person. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And uh, hopefully I receive another box of scarves soon that we can go through because I loved that. All right, if you like this kind of video, please like it and subscribe so that we can do more of this because otherwise I won't know if you liked it, okay? So hopefully I'll see you soon.